Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to this look at Scottish Prime, well British Prime Ministers that have been from Scotland. In this episode we're going to take a look at the first four and then next time we'll have a look at more recent ones, the last five, including the absolutely amazing and inspirational Gordon Brown. I don't have a particular agenda against Gordon Brown, but anyway. Um, so if I miss anything out, please do let me know in the comments. Or if I get anything wrong, let me know. And I'll try and sort that out as best I can. So yeah, this video is also linked to my Civilization VI Rise and Fall playthrough of Scotland. We're looking at Scottish history week after week. So please do go and check that out. I will leave it in a link in the description. And I shall also leave it on the end screen. So yeah, let's get into the video. So there have been nine British Prime Ministers from Scotland, from a number of political parties which we shall explore as we go through. The first of these was John Stuart, who was Prime Minister from 1762 until 1763, under King George III. I think King George III was the crazy one. Let me know. Um, interestingly, it had taken Britain 55 years since the Act of Union in 1707 to appoint its first Scottish Prime Minister and also its first Conservative, or if you want to say Tory, Prime Minister. I can't believe um, that the first Tory P PM was from Scotland. I don't know why, it just seems rather unlikely, uh, rather unlikely today, doesn't it? Um, before Stuart, the Whig party had completely dominated the position of Prime Minister, with the previous six Prime Ministers um, all having allegiance to the Whig party and all coming from the Whig party. So he was the fir first Conservative um, Prime Minister, which is very interesting, because I did not expect that before I did my research. So from 1763, it would take almost a century before the second Scottish Prime Minister was appointed. Well, Scottish Prime Minister of Great Britain was appointed. George Hamilton Gordon was British Prime Minister from December 1852 until January 1855. He was the fourth Earl of Aberdeen, Scottish links there, and was Prime Minister during Queen Victoria's reign, or at least a very, very small part of it, because obviously her reign was quite long. Um, Hamilton Gordon was a Peelite Prime Minister. The Peelites were essentially a breakaway group from the Conservatives, which later on merged with um, other parties such as the Whigs, I think, I think they were involved, to form the Liberal Party. Um, without going into too much detail, I think that's essentially what happened. His government collapsed due to his hesitancy surrounding the British involvement in the Crimean War, so that's why it didn't perhaps last as long as it could have done. I think it was also a coalition government, and interestingly, I think the government was also the only Peelite government. Obviously, Peel was, in, was Prime Minister, but I think he was Prime Minister under the Conservative Party. Um, if that's wrong, obviously let me know. So next up is arguably one of the greatest Prime Ministers in British history. William Gladstone, who had actually served in the Peelite government of George Hamilton Gordon, was Prime Minister for four terms from 1868 to 1894. In total, Gladstone was Prime Minister for around 12 years during this period, representing the Liberal Party. Obviously, we've just talked about how they came about. Gladstone also had lots of other roles, such as Chancellor of the Exchequer. I think he was that four, four times. Um, and yeah, although he was born in Liverpool, which I am very aware is not in Scotland, I am not that stupid, he was actually, um, his parents were both actually um, Scottish, which makes him eligible for this list. I mean, that is arguable, but I'm going to make him eligible for this list, because it's nice just to talk about him. Um, additionally, Gladstone was Prime Minister during the reign of Queen Victoria, um, and his career included an ongoing rivalry, rivalry with the Conservative Benjamin Disraeli. A couple of years ago, the BBC produced a documentary on the rivalry between the pair, which is well worth a watch if you have time. I'll try and leave a link in the description to it, but it's not that long. I think it's presented by Hugh Edwards, and it is really interesting, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, I could go into so much detail about Gladstone, such as the fact that he had a keen interest in chopping down trees, which is, for me, a highlight. Um, but I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop there for this video. So the final Prime Minister we're going to discuss in this video, and the first Scottish Prime Minister of the 20th century, was Arthur Balfour. Balfour, born in East Lothian in Scotland, was a Conservative Prime Minister and was in office from July 1902 until December 1905. 
Balfour became the Prime Minister at the same time that Edward VII took the throne of England, well, of, of Britain, really, at this point, isn't it? Um, the period included events such as the Russo-Japanese Russo War, and some of Balfour's greatest achievements include the Education Act of 1902 and the 1904 Committee of Imperial Defence. So from these four Prime Ministers, we can see that Scotland and Scottish Prime Ministers have played a prominent role in British history, such as John Stuart being the first Conservative Prime Minister, and Gladstone as an integral part of British politics in the late 19th century. Um, next time we'll take a look at Prime Ministers, Prime Ministers such as the Canadian-born Bonner Law, who I believe was the only British Prime Minister to be born outside of the like, United Kingdom, um, the first Labour Prime Minister, Ramsay MacDonald, and the inspirational figure um, of Gordon Brown. And, and yeah, we'll have a look at Tony Blair as well, who I did not think was Scottish before this. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Please do remember to go and have a look at the civilization part of this video if you're in charge. In, in char if you're interested in gameplay and things like that so thank you for watching leave your feedback below hit that like button and subscribe obviously the more of them you do the more of these videos i'll make thank you for watching and i shall see you next time